Today what I'd like to do is just show you our Toyota 2012 Sienna van. Um, nothing major about it, but if you've been following Nancy, Nancy is hiking the Appalachia Trail. Uh, really pretty amazing. And the whole game plan of this was that, uh, you know, we live near Knoxville and for the first most of the first half I could drive, it'd be like a two and a half, three hour drive. And she's hiking with our dog Mako. So I bring dog food and supplies for her and we'll pick her up after four or five days and go spend the night in a motel and whatnot. But now as she's getting close to halfway point, it is, um, the drive's becoming seven hours and I'm not, I don't want to do seven hours every three, four days. <laughs> So our game plan was to somehow make our Toyota Sienna into a um, striker van, into a sleeping van. So let me show you what I've done. It's a lot of this that came from my son. As you can see in here, I'll get inside here. This is our bed and I'll show you the backside. It is nothing fancy. Michael had a Honda Element and he made a platform bed and we changed it a little bit. Um, we put, we changed the bottom of it. Uh, so I could put more storage in here. So the bed itself is, we have, if I can get the right look here, we have a memory foam mattress on it, and it is actually too big for this. This frame is um, 48 by 72, and the mattress is probably, it's like four inches too wide. So the bed, if you can see this, this is, I'm not doing here very well, but this frame is on a hinge and will fold up much like the, the mattress does. So right now, this is how I'll sleep in it. There's a little bed for Mako, not very big bed, but a little bed for Mako. Uh, and when I'm not using it as a bed, I fold this up and then we have that much more room. But let me show you the backside. It is, you know, here is the back of it. And originally what happened when I got this from Michael, um, Michael and his friend Ryan Reed made it. It was 11 inches tall from here to there and I couldn't get any canisters in. So then I went to get these, I actually changed the bottom of it so I get more storage. And I raised it up to about 12 and a half inches and I can put two containers under here. And this is really our storage. We thought all we needed, well, we soon found we take too much stuff. Um, anyway, I have slept in this. Um, when Nancy hiked the um, foothills trails in South Dakota, I went to a campgrounds and slept uh, two nights. And uh, to tell you the truth, the first night was really weird because it was daylight saving time. So at shoot four o'clock, it was dark. Five o'clock was dark and I wasn't real prepared for it. So I had to go in the van and I went to bed. And of course I get up early. So I'm up at four and, and that it really helped because now I started learning how to do this. What we did get was a Thule box um, on top and we didn't think we needed it right away, but it's, uh, you know, we have our cooking supplies up here and also, um, our chairs to sit on and whatnot, just the bulky stuff. And our game plan actually is this winter is to go on a bigger trip. Um, now we'll see, cause we, this Appalachian Trail isn't an inexpensive trip. <laughs> and when you're on fixed income, that fixed income only goes so far. So that's, that's it for it. Today what I'm doing is trying to uh, put everything together and making sure everything's ready to rock and roll. And I will go meet Nancy soon. Excited about that. And what I'll do then is there's camp, there's starting to be campgrounds, but I also have an app called, I think it's RV Ready. And it tells you where you can camp for, where you can sleep for free. I know Walmart and Cracker Barrel, but there's other spots along the way you can, you can sleep for free. So my game plan is to, until we go to a motel, um, I'm going to, Go sleep in parking lots, bring a book, read. Um, I have a, you know, we have to have AT&T out here. So I have hotspots, so I'll bring my laptop and we have an iPad so I'll continue my business. And uh, 
<clears throat> and make money while Nancy's hiking and I'm enjoying it. So there you have it. If uh, Follow along. This is kind of a fun trip. I am seeing country I've never seen before, which is so stinking amazing. It's a North Carolina. Georgia was pretty. North Carolina was pretty. Virginia is stinking amazing. We're going to be in the Shenandoahs quick, and then we get in West Virginia and Pennsylvania. So, unbelievable. 2,200 miles. Shoot. I walk two and a half miles a day. I'm panting when I'm two and a half miles. So, y'all take care. Enjoy the journey with Nancy and Mako and um, Rose and who else? Gandalf. There we go. It is so cool to get old because I remember everything so stinking well. Talk soon. Bye.